Hey everyone, welcome back to my videos. Apologies for not having a video on Wednesday, so I just didn't have time to make one, but now I am gonna have all the time in the world. Um, so I am back to my regular Wednesday and Sunday videos, maybe even more, we'll see. I've got a lot of time now. I have another skincare video for you today. This is partly because you guys have been asking about it, and I also kind of want to show you this product that I'm going to talk about because it's incredible and I love it, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. Today we are going to be talking about Nature Republic's Aloe Vera Soothing Gel. 92% aloe vera. I've been using this for just under two months now, so whenever I got back from LA, up until now, and it is incredible. And today I am going to tell you 10 things you can do with aloe vera gel. Number one, it makes a really, really good sunburn treatment. Aloe vera gel is naturally really cool and soothing, and it also just helps heal the skin as well. Number two, aloe vera gel is extremely moisturizing without being oily. So I have incredibly oily skin, so aloe vera makes for a really, really great moisturizer. Number three, I've been using this as a face mask as well, so what I'll do with that is I will kind of just layer it quite generously on my skin, quite thick, but not too thick. Um, leave that on my skin for about 20 minutes and then just massage that into my skin. And I will do that before bedtime, and I usually do that, I don't know, maybe once or twice a week along with my other face mask. Number four. Oh. Four. <laughs> we would like to hang out in the evenings and summer, you know, have our barbecues, family events, whatever but it means that we get bitten a lot, like a lot, a lot. I don't know about you guys, but mosquitoes seem to be naturally drawn to my skin and my blood. And I found out that aloe vera gel, as well as soothing the itching, also tones down the redness and pretty much heals the bite within about 24 hours. Number five. This will make a really, really good acne and spot treatment. Now, what I mean by that is more of a direct spot treatment. And what I've been doing when I've been breaking out is I've been just getting a big blob of it, putting it on the spot and just leaving it overnight and you'll find that the redness has gone, the bumpiness has gone, any kind of irritation has just been soothed out. Number six. So whatever your job is, most of us are on our feet quite a bit and we get them really horrible cracked dry heels. This is where aloe vera comes in great because like I said it's really really moisturizing and it softens out the skin and then along with like a foot file or you know one of them pet eggs, um, it just really, really nicely takes away the skin without any kind of pain or any kind of irritation. Number seven. I was browsing YouTube like the majority of us do and I was trying to find what else people were doing um, to create hair masks. I put product in my hair, I blow dry my hair every single day. Um, I wash the product out every single night and it can really irritate my scalp, it can make my hair, you know, a little bit dry. And aloe vera gel came up so I gave it a go. I thought it was a little bit weird because I thought this was purely for skin. But all you do is, in wet hair, you just rub some aloe vera gel all the way through, let it dry in your hair, leave it overnight, and your hair in the morning is like conditioned, but without being too soft. Because you know when you condition your hair and then you can't style your hair because it's gone all too soft. Yeah, so that's what it does. It really conditions your hair and then it also soothes your scalp as well, because I can get a really dry scalp from constantly spraying my hair and using too much product and washing it out and blow drying in. So yeah, this is really, really soothing on the scalp and then really, really good for the hair as well. Number eight. I don't really shave that much, but when I do, um, I don't really like to use a shaving foam. You know, when you spray it on all foams up, I just find them weird and I don't know, a little bit old fashioned I suppose. I prefer shaving creams and also aloe vera gel works just as well as a shaving cream. And why I like creams is because you can put it on your skin but you can see exactly where you're shaving. So what the aloe vera gel does just as well and even better than a shaving cream is allow you to see exactly where you're shaving. It's also a little bit lubricated as well almost so the razor just glides across the skin really, really well. And it also helps minimize the appearance of any kind of redness or lumps and bumps that you create while shaving. So yeah, it's really, really soothing. And I would also put this on after, um, after the shave again. So wash it all off and then just rub it in like a moisturizer. Number nine. So I've been using aloe vera gel as an eye mask. Now you do have to be careful because a lot of the products will say not to put it near your eyes, but I think you're safe with anything over 90% or anything that's mainly water-based. So what I'll do is I'll get like, kind of like a big blob of this, put it on a cotton pad, and then just lay it over my eyes. It's very naturally cooling as well, then just makes the whole eye area look a lot more brighter and a lot more awake. Like I said, you do have to be really careful with this. Um, I wouldn't just go putting any kind of aloe vera gel on your eye 
anything over 90% aloe vera, and just shut your eyes. Always read the packaging and make sure it's safe to do that. Number 10. So finally, I left the best one till last. I have been using aloe vera gel as a hair product. I was kind of surprised at how good this actually was. Um, I wouldn't use it as a hair product, you know, to go to work, but I've been using it on my days off, and what I'll do is I'll apply it to wet hair, dry it through, and you'll find that it really gives a good hold to your hair, and then I will take a little bit of it, rub it in between my hands, and then just style it, and then spray a little bit of hairspray. It has enough hold to last you, you know, through the day, and you can always top up the hairspray, but it's, sometimes it's just nice to give your scalp a break. So they are my top 10 favourite ways to use aloe vera gel. I feel like this is a bit of like a Vaseline kind of product in the sense that there's probably a thousand other ways to use it, if that makes sense. So if you do know any other ways, please leave it in the comments below. I want to know more. I will be forever buying this product. I've had it for two months and it's lasted me so long, like it's not even, you know, three quarters of the way finished. Um, I'm going to leave the link for this Nature Republic one down below. I would 100% recommend this one. It is a little bit pricier if you're living in the UK. If you're in the US, you're very lucky. You have Nature Republic in a few places in the US. And of course, Japan and Korea. Um, I presume Nature Republic is quite popular. I'll leave the links to where you can buy it down below. Please remember to always read the labels as well on the back. That's why I highly recommend this one because it is so natural and it is aloe vera and water. But yeah, like I said, any comments, leave them for me down below. I'm loving all the video ideas that you guys are giving me as as well. Subscribe, share this video with your friends, tell your friends about my channel. I will see you soon and I'll see you for a hair tutorial on Wednesday. Goodbye.